Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Nautilus Aero. Today we are going to take a look at our latest 3D printed models mock assembly, the NA Skyhawk. So you can assemble your own. Let's dive in. So these are all the 3D printed parts that you are going to get in the kit. Let's go through them. The first part is the nose cone. You will receive two in every kit. This is the first one which is for line of sight flying a bit more aerodynamic than the other one which is for the FPV flying which has a cutout in the front next up we have the slim part which will be glued onto the fuselage providing a base for the nose cone attachment through screws allowing for easy replacement here we have the servo well designed to fit micro servos standard 9 gram or even up to 13 gram digital metal gear ones these two attachments are for tightening the carbon fiber rod. The flat covers will go on top of the servo wells to keep the servos securely in place. Moving on, we have these 3D printed TPU hinges included in the kit. They will slide into the designated spots in the wing and the control surfaces. Here's the outer wing or the winglet. Make sure to match the profile of the middle wing with the wing tip. It's slightly more curved on the top surface than on the bottom. So by carefully looking at that, you can align the left and the right one. For a perfect wing well fitting, match the tapered corner cut of the well with the wing. If you have a clear wing, it will be visible from the outside. So it should face outward as shown here. Please ensure to test fit it before gluing it into the place. Now on to the front fuselage which will house the battery the bottom battery tray needs to be securely glued in place to strap the battery using the included velcro strap. The front hat which comes in two pieces which needs to be glued together. Also don't forget to glue the locking clip in place as it will securely lock the top hatch uh, onto the front fuselage. The vertical tails are friction fit, but for added security, you can use double sided foam tape on the bottom surface of the vertical tail or simply use CA glue to permanently secure them in place. Moving to the rear fuselage, this area houses the motor mount. The bottom wedge here will protect the motor from any direct hits during landing. The motor mount needs an M3 screw or two of them from both sides to secure it firmly. Lastly, we have two carbon fiber tubes included in the kit. The front spar is 8mm outer diameter and 560mm in length, while the rear spar is 6mm outer diameter and 300mm in length. Both will pass through the modified fuselage. All the fuselage parts needs to be glued together using CA glue or any other glue of your choice.
Don't forget the four small screws to secure the front door. And ensure the battery tray is securely glued into place. So that's it for the overview. The full step by step video guide will be uploaded soon for better understanding. Please like, share, and subscribe to get updates on our latest content. Thanks for watching. As and always, happy flying.